So this is the setup. Um, we have it suspended from the ceiling using wires, I guess, and nylon strings, I suppose. Uh, I've also gotten it to stay relatively still right now. And as you can see on this dot right here, I don't know if it's all that visible, it's uh, stationary along this central line. And the distance between these two, uh, I mean between the lines, is two centimeters. So that should be uh, stationary across the experiments I'm, I'm about to perform. Also, I'm going to attempt, but I'm not promising, to hold this uh, <coughs> button, that I call it, um, at this position at all times. Because when you move this, it's going to affect the dots. You can see now it started shifting. So if you have it in a one place, um, it shouldn't really uh, affect the dot to one side or the other. Uh, I'm just going to try and get it, get it to swing and see if I can't get it to swing and then uh, try to break the swing by doing cycles the reverse way, only when it swings to the right. Okay, switching. It's swinging left. Okay, reversing uh, swing um, speed again. As you saw, I started doing swings um, when the machine was moving that way. That increased the sw uh, swing momentum. However, when I started doing swings when it's moving, it's moving th this way, it decreased the swing momentum. And I'm not <laughs> entirely sure that that's supposed to be possible. That's supposed to happen. Let's try again. And just for reference, I'm always holding my hand here, not really affecting the mechanism. I'm gonna try and zoom in on the paper instead. Hope you can see the dots. That's a bad run. I'm stopping it.
what's wrong. I'm gonna stop recording for a moment. Okay, we're back up. Hopefully you can see the dot still. It's kind of wobbly, the machine, but you can probably still see the dot when it uh, moves back and forth. Uh, I'm gonna try starting a swing again, and then uh, ah, I, I should just zoom out. There we go. You probably can't see the dot now, but I'm gonna start a swing and do the same thing as before. Uh, start, start a swing by only doing cycles in that direction, and then decrease the swing by only doing cycles in that direction, effectively, effectively breaking it against nothing. Okay, let's reverse. Already very efficient. Okay, it's eff effectively stopped. Now, uh, now I'm gonna. <clears throat> well, you can already see how much it wobbles normally. It doesn't really decrease a lot due to air resistance. I mean, the the wobbling will stop eventually, but you can see, you can clearly see that it stops ab uh, abnormally fast when I do cycles in that direction. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to... Hang on, I'm doing a new... Okay, in this experiment I'm going to attempt to fool or trick or, you know, pass the pendulum test by making the dots stay on one... more on one side, on the left side, than the right side. And left is the, the direction of travel anyway. <clears throat> The way I'm going to do this is uh, I'm going to do cycles only when the dot is on the far most uh, left position, never uh, at any other point. And uh, hopefully this will clear it of the pendulum test. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a long, long time <laughs> for, it, for the dot to stop. I think that uh, that was enough, I think. Well, uh, we, ran, we ran out of time for that experiment. I'm just gonna stabilize it real quick. Uh, 
this time I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to only do cycles, uh, causing it to propel itself to the left, uh, when the dot is on that side of the paper. Uh, you can see now it's kind of uh, not really aligned, but whatever. <laughs> As long as uh, we have a program to track the dots uh, or original points. Uh, this time I'm also going to uh, break the, um, the backward swing. Uh, as, long as, it, as long as the dot is on uh, the left side of the paper. <clears throat> Okay, starting braking operation. Successful. Okay, let's just wait it, wait it out this time. Uh, in this experiment, I'm just gonna try try seeing how far to the how far to the left uh, no how far to the right the dot moves as uh, hang on. As the cycle starts, the gyrus will move forward. <clears throat> this will cause the dot to move right because it's at the laser pointer is attached to the, the wagon part. So you see, this is the laser pointer. <clears throat> uh, the point of this experiment is to see if uh, the dot moves more to the right uh, than to the, no, more to the left than to the right. I got, gained almost two centimeters on that one. And on that one. And on that one. Stopping it. Okay, going to attempt to pass the pendulum test once more.
Okay, restarting. Stopping it manually. Going. Okay, stopping. Uh, now. So, this is to show it. I know the dot won't be visible in this experiment, but it is just, uh, you can uh, approximate the dot's uh, position by going after uh, this reference point, uh, analyzing this reference point in relation to something static in the video, like uh, the floor or a tile or something. And during this, you can, uh, you can get an effective dot to track anyway and uh, this is an attempt to try and pass the pendulum test trying to keep it more to the left side than the right Trying to uh, keep the dot steady when it's in the middle. Uh, never mind.
Okay, braking. Just gonna attempt to get it to stop. Okay, I'm just gonna stop and wait for it to settle down. I'm just gonna shut off the gyro. However, uh, it does seem to be <clears throat> very efficient at braking in that direction and going in that direction and I don't know I don't think that's supposed to be possible even if it has the gyroscopes and um, that to me seems to indicate uh, a reactionless drive actually however I realize I'm just an amateur and I suppose I'm going to have to ask a couple of scientists physicists if it's actually possible to break a swing like uh, even even though you don't have any reaction mass okay we have a new laser pointer set up that's a lot more powerful I hope um, going to attempt to pass the pendulum test once more by doing uh, cycles when the dot has passed this line in the middle and uh, when it's uh, pretty much the furthest out on that way. Maybe I'll do cycles when it's uh, the furthest out on the right side as well, just to give it a push in that direction. Okay, commencing braking. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it be now.
Okay, this is the big swing experiment, uh, as I'm, I'm calling it. Uh, the purpose is to basically just uh, get a show that you can get a pretty big swing um, when you <clears throat> when you do cycles uh, in that direction when it's swinging in that direction. Basically, we're just going to get get a, an as big a swing as possible, and then we're going to going to break it by doing cycles when it's only swinging in that direction. Okay, commencing breaking. It's breaking pretty efficiently. I'm not going to wait for the dot to completely stop on this one, instead, uh, well, if it was a, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Final experiment for the day. The jars are now off for um, making them act as uh, ordinary weights. Uh, I've also forced the gyros in the forward position, meaning uh, when you rotate the scaffold, they will be pulled out by centrifugal forces essentially making it a worthless machine, but it is also important uh, to show that you can't get the same swing motion and uh, braking motion. Braking is essentially just acceleration, but in the opposite direction of travel. Uh, <coughs> uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> no, I think that's it. And, oh yeah. 
basically the center of gravity of these two gyroscopes, even though they're ordinary weights now, will essentially be identical to when they're on. They are moving back and forth and spinning around and around. And that's basically all the gyroscopes are doing when, uh, when they're spinning as well. So basically, uh, theoretically, according to physics as we know them today, you should get the same results as when the gyres are on. So let's see what happens. Well, it doesn't seem to be getting, be getting any bigger than this. I'm only doing uh, <clears throat> cycles at the very front so that the uh, wagon will push even further, gaining some uh, momentum. It's not exactly intuitive, but as you can see, it, it's nowhere near the swing. Uh, I mean, you, you could get swing momentum on just a couple of cycles uh, when the gyres are on. And this is nothing, nothing like when the gyres are on. And I basically can't get any larger swing than this. I'm going to try to break the swing now, uh, causing the wagon to be still. Exactly working. <laughs> <laughs> 